Oh, oh. Today on TFL Off-Road, we have something very unique. I just recently went on Land Rover Trek, which is an off-roading competition that Land Rover puts on every year for all of their dealerships, and they also do a separate wave for teams of journalists, automotive media people like ourselves, to compete in this competition. And in the last two years, Tommy has done this competition with our friends Brian Dorr and Jeff Glucker, and they won two years in a row, which means coming into this third year, I really wanted to represent Tommy and TFL and our team and win this, especially because I also own a Land Rover. So the pressure was on this year for Trek. And let me explain what Trek is. It's a series of challenges that you have to complete within a time window. And it involves everything from using a map and GPS to find locations. You have to maneuver the vehicle off-road through cones, changing tires, moving trailers around, using the winch. And there are a number of physical challenges as well, where you have to run, mountain bike, do a lot in order to try and win this competition. And we had three other teams to face up against. Now the competition started with us having to go retrieve our Defender 130, which was the vehicle that we used throughout the course of the event. And what we had to do was get on a mountain bike and then run and hike to be able to find this artifact. It was a small British style phone booth that we could exchange for a key to a Defender 130. So we had to run around, use our map and coordinates and GPS to be able to find this artifact and then actually go find the Defenders themselves. And it was a huge physical challenge. We had to run, bike and hike for probably about an hour until we were actually able to find our Defender and luckily, just barely, we were the first ones to get to our vehicle. Now let's take a look at the vehicle that we're using for Land Rover Trek this time around. As you can see, this is a Land Rover Defender 130. So this is the longer wheelbase Land Rover, which means it's gonna be a little bit bigger to use out here on the trail. And there you can see a badge that shows you, yes, this is a Defender 130, and it's built out specifically for Trek. So let's talk a little bit about some of what makes this unique. Now on the back here, you can see some of the accessories. We've got a shovel and a high lift jack. We've also got a small ladder set up here going to the top where you have a roof rack. And then very important are the tires. These are Goodyear Wranglers, so pretty aggressive tires. And then around the front, you have this relatively subtle, almost kind of push bar design that helps hide the winch back here with a factor 55 hook on the end of it. But for the most part, it's pretty simple. In the past, they've made them a lot more noticeable, but uh, it's just black on black this time around. And we did get to do a decent bit of wheeling this year on Trek. From what Tommy told me last year, there wasn't quite as much off-roading, but we got to drive up some pretty cool obstacles, especially getting in between some of the challenges. Getting to do a little bit of wheeling here in the 130, which is cool. This is right at the beginning of the day, but we've actually got a little bit of a rock garden to drive up. See what the guys aren't telling you in their videos, they have me driving because I'm the least talented at uh, everything else. <laughs> the driving part's not the hard part. <laughs> the real fact is that we just ran and I'm 43 and I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm also tired. <laughs> now the first challenge that we had was a timed event where we had to take a tire off of the Land Rover. We had to air that tire down. We had to run it around a tree and then we had to air it back up and fit it back to the Defender. And that was a pretty physical challenge because we had the option of an electric pump to pump up the tire, but it was very small, or a hand pump. And they told us at the start of this competition that a big part of it was going to be working hard. So we picked the hand pump and they told us that was a good plan. Yeah. You don't think air? No, because we got to put no. it back in there like and that. And he said it's about working hard. And on. that and Wow, that. people that actually pay attention. Yeah. yeah. And and so many teams I say this to. <laughs> now, I'm not going to tell you what's a great pick, so what are you going to pick? Yeah, breaker, breaker bar. Very good, can use very the good. Plate. Anybody that's ever yeah, used a compressor have. the size of a cigarette pack questions its <laughs> yeah. speed. It takes forever, speed. okay. Yeah. And, and that's about time here, yeah. right? So, yeah. Okay, so now you, now you got it. Oh, yeah. Great choice. I was supposed to say great choice no matter what you picked. But, but that's choice. actually, yeah. <laughs> so we got a good time on that and moved on to our next challenge. 
In our next challenge, we had to hook up to a small trailer and use the winch on the front of the rover as well as some snatch blocks to winch a barrel full of water onto this trailer. And once we had the barrel on the trailer, we could not touch that trailer and we had to drive our rover around a course that had the trailer articulating as well as the Land Rover. All the, all the grounds, this hole was worried yeah. about that going into. All right, slow. nice and slow, slow. All right, all right. Oh, that's stressful. Not stressful, <laughs> right, right. Slow, slow. But if the barrel fell off, we would have had to go back to the start and winch the barrel back onto the trailer, which would have been a huge time deduction. And pretty much all of these events were based on how quickly you could do it without incurring any penalties, or of course doing something that makes you have to start over because that would be a huge knock to your time. And this challenge was very stressful because we really did not want to drop the barrel. And this was a challenge that we ended up doing really well in. We did very well compared to the rest of the people on the media wave, but from what the guy who was running this challenge told us, apparently we had about the second best time even compared to all of the dealerships from all around the country who did this challenge. So that was a difficult one, but we did well. Another one of the challenges that we had to do was selecting someone to be basically our head medical leader, so someone who had a little bit of first aid experience. So we chose Brian for that. And they walked off with Brian and then informed us that in this situation, our leader, Brian, was down and we had to go recover him. So Jeff and I had to run down these series of rock ledges and grab Brian and bring him back up to our rover and get him strapped in without dropping him, of course, and, uh, and doing it as quickly and efficiently as possible. And that was another one that we felt went pretty well. We just did a rescue just, like, mission and uh, that one went pretty well. Basically, <laughs> Jeff and I had to carry Brian up to the car and uh, he's, he's not light. In another one of our challenges, we also had to light a fire in order to burn through a string that they had strung up above it. And all they gave us was basically flint to strike sparks into whatever we could find that was nearby the challenge. So we ran through the woods, got kindling, we got sticks, and we built a big enough fire to burn through the string. And the goal was, of course, like usual, to do that as quickly as possible. <laughs> a little bit of discouragement in the beginning with the striker, but hey, you've done it. You've done it there. <laughs> Right this on, we perfect. appreciate it. Okay. The fire to some survive. of the most yeah. difficult challenges that we had throughout the day were some different challenges that involved us maneuvering the Defender 130 through a series of cones or canes with different challenges set for us. So one of the challenges, we were blindfolded and we had to take direction from the person in the passenger seat in order to drive without being able to see where you're going, which by the way, is actually kind of terrifying. It's a weird feeling. And the person in the passenger seat just had to navigate us such that we didn't run into any of the canes that were set alongside the rover. And over the course of that, we had to switch out. And on that challenge, we did get one penalty because as the defender rocked, we touched one of the canes. But there were some other similar competitions where Jeff was remote and radioing us, telling us how to proceed through a grid pattern. So we had these squares and we had to communicate over the radio to figure out where we were supposed to be and where we were supposed to go. And then there was another competition where we had to memorize a pattern and drive through cones, again, without touching any of the cones. Because the Defender 130 is a big vehicle, these were some of the more difficult challenges. They also leaned heavily on teamwork and communication and it was not easy because it's kind of a mind game to try and get that big Defender 130 through all these and in a high stress situation. In another one of our competitions, we had to walk back and forth as a team on these wooden skis and lasso basically a bull's head that was fixed to a bale of hay. And that was actually the competition that I was most effective at. Um, four times in a row, at least, I got the lasso in one attempt. For sure, we did really well because that one was a set time. It was 25 minutes, 
and we got 25 lassos in 25 minutes, which we felt really good about. In all, there were 10 challenges that we were able to do, and we managed to get to the 10th one about 20 minutes before our time limit would end. Right now we're pulled up to the very last challenge that we actually have available and there's someone in there so we're having to wait but we've done every other challenge so far and most of them especially some of the higher scoring ones have gone pretty well. We've only gotten one penalty that was my fault. Uh, so yeah I'd say pretty good so far. High hopes. This challenge was winching a log from one designated area into another using a system of straps and snatch blocks to be able to change the direction of where we were winching this log to. And this one was pretty high stress because if you're late, you get big penalties. So we had to be back at the main part of the campground at 227 exactly. And we were running pretty short on time, but we did manage to complete that without hitting any penalties. But there was a lot of pretty stiff competition in this event. We did manage to complete all of the challenges, but then we had to wait for them to tally things up and tell us at dinner who actually won it. Now, I'll be honest, I was very stressed out waiting to hear this announcement for the reasons that I mentioned earlier, because I'm a Land Rover owner, so for myself, I, I wanted to have this win. And also the fact that our team with Tommy had won it two years prior, back to back, and I was the only difference there. So if we lost, it would be kind of on me, or at least it would feel that way. And so finally we got to the announcement and they told us that we did indeed win. And they actually told us that next year they want to split up our team to figure out where the real magic in that group is. And both Jeff Glucker and I feel like Brian Doerr is the magic in the team. And a huge thanks to those guys for really moving the team along because they were a lot better at most of these challenges than I was. Uh -huh. So next year it sounds like the dream team is, is getting split up, whether that be with Tommy or I. But this was a really cool competition because it's all about what Land Rover is supposed to be. It's something that they've been doing for a really long time and it was just an exciting thing to get to go do. So very vloggy end to our competition here. Uh, we just got the results and we won. we won. Yeah, thank God. I was gonna feel really <laughs> horrible if I filled in for Tommy and we didn't win the first hey, Tommy, time I got on. enjoy your vacation or whatever, your fiance, whatever you're doing. <laughs> we got Case now. Case <laughs> killed it. Case did a great job. It was a, it was a great stop. time. Good stop. Good stop. Good stop. Boss. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. We won. 343 was our points. I think the next closest was 307. So yeah, did pretty good. pretty good. It was close. They were good this year. We yeah. had a great Everybody. a lot of real competition. We weren't super confident we won. No. We did a great job all day, but we weren't real confident, but we, we, we killed it. It happened. Because of this yeah. guy. We were, little, we were a little confident. So I get to go <laughs> home and tell my Land Rover that I won, which is exciting. And yeah. There's probably gonna be one of these next year that we'll all be in, so. With a twist, so stay tuned. Yeah, exactly. See you next time.